Hello, in this video, we are going to learn more about different mobile technologies. Mobile communication is the use of technology that allows us to communicate with others in different locations without the use of any physical connection. The advantage of mobile communication is that it makes our life easier and it saves time and effort. It enables the people to communicate with each other regardless of location. People can respond to emergencies relatively quickly. Wireless technology offers us easy accessibility to the remotest of the areas. When we talk of 1G, 2G, 3G, G stands for generation and each generation has a set of network standards and technology used which defines that generation. Let's look at each generation one by one. The first generation introduced the mobile phones between 1970s and 1980s. It was based on analog technology called as Advanced Mobile Phone System or AMPS. The AMP system was frequency modulated with a channel capacity of 30 kHz. Its basic features were that it had speed up to 2.4 kilobits per second. It was used only for voice services and within one country with no roaming. The initial phones were very large and bulky. Other limitation of this generations was that it had poor voice quality. The battery life was poor and the security was also limited. It also had limited capacity. Cell phones received their first major upgrade when they went from 1G to 2G. 2G was launched in 1990s. The voice transmission moved from analog to digital signals. Technology was based on GSM that is Global System for Mobile Communication and CDMA. 2G capabilities were achieved by allowing multiple users on a single channel via multiplexing. In 2G, data speed was up to 64 kbps. It provided better quality and capacity. Security also improved. It introduced services such as SMS which refers to text messages and MMS which refers to messages with a picture or a video. The later version of this generation which was called 2.5G used GPRS which is General Packet Radio Service and 2.75G used Edge which was Enhanced Data Rate for GSM Evolution Net. The limitation of this generation was that it was unable to handle complex data such as videos. It required strong digital signals to help mobile phones work. 3G or third generation was introduced in early 2000. These phones were required to meet IMT 2000 technical standards. It utilized Universal Mobile Telecommunication Systems or UMTS. The typical speed was 2 Mbps but the original technology was improved to allow data up to 14 Mbps and more by using packet switching. It used wideband wireless network with which clarity is increased. It allowed TV streaming, mobile TV, 3D gaming, so 3G phones were called smartphones. It also offered data services, high speed web and more security. It could be used for high speed internet service, video chatting, etc. The limitation of this generation was that it had high bandwidth requirement. There were expensive fees for 3G licenses, services and expensive 3G phones. It was challenging to build the infrastructure also for 3G. Next comes 4G which was introduced in 2010. The most important 4G standards are WiMAX and LTE which is long term evolution. It was capable of providing 10 Mbps to 1 Gbps speed. It expanded multimedia services and included high quality video streaming. It offered high security 
and expanded multimedia services. The limitations of 4G are that it uses more battery, it is hard to implement and needed complicated hardware. Next came 5G or 5th generation mobile technology which started deployment in 2019. 5G technology needs to meet IMT 2020 standards. It uses new radio frequencies, millimeter waves and massive MIMO technology which is multiple input and multiple output. It offers high download speeds, eventually up to 10 gigabits per second. The main focus of 5G is to set up wireless World Wide Web. It is a complete wireless communication with no limitations. It offers multimedia with HD clarity. It has large phone memory, dialing speed, clarity in both audio and video. It allows device to device communication which will make possible new applications in Internet of Things or IoT and machine to machine areas. Since the technology is new, there are still lot of unknowns in this. If you liked our video, do press like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.